Could Zimbabwe's new gold-backed currency, coined the ZIG, be the answer to the nation's long-standing economic woes, or is it just a new challenge added to an already convoluted situation? In recent times, Zimbabwe embarked on a bold move, introducing the ZIG to tackle inflation and stabilize their volatile financial landscape. However, the transition has been anything but smooth. Businesses and government services began rejecting old notes even before the ZIG was widely available. This premature transition has resulted in an array of difficulties for consumers. From the lack of change to increased prices and limited access to essential services, the challenges are many. For the everyday Zimbabwean, especially those in rural areas, skepticism about the new currency is rife. Past experiences of currency devaluation and a lack of confidence in the government's handling of monetary policies fuel this skepticism. Despite assurances from the central bank, concerns persist about the success and sustainability of the ZIG in the face of ongoing economic challenges. Now, we imagine trying to buy a passport or fuel only to be told that your money is no good. That's the reality for many Zimbabweans today. The newly introduced currency has failed to deliver on its promise of stability and accessibility. Essential services have become a luxury for many. A situation that not only highlights the failings of the new monetary system, but also underscores the deeper economic issues plaguing the nation. So, as Zimbabweans bear the cost of changing to the new currency, a key question arises. Is the gold-backed ZIG a solution to Zimbabwe's economic problems or just another layer of complexity to an already dire situation? In summary, Zimbabwe's new currency, the ZIG, has introduced new challenges to an already beleaguered economy. The transition has been fraught with difficulties from businesses rejecting old notes prematurely to the new currency's failure to purchase essential services. The situation highlights not only the failings of the new monetary system, but also the broader economic issues plaguing the country. The implications of this are far-reaching. As Zimbabwe grapples with the ZIG's challenges, the everyday Zimbabwean continues to bear the brunt of the economic turmoil. It's a situation that calls for more than just a new currency. It calls for comprehensive economic reform, starting with building confidence in the nation's monetary policies. Only then can Zimbabwe hope to stabilize its economy and provide its citizens with the financial security they so desperately need.